Okay. okay. Mo, me, mo, me, so me this morning, so I came to tell you guys minister? that you are the two people who talk because me tea. No, 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 no. So, Ubekasa. Ubekasa. so where's the energy minister? Debe, debe, debe. It looks like in oh, all of this conversation. Um, but I think while we may not be seeing him, um, we should also be realistic. We have um, a deregulated energy sector. Right. So it also means that when the price window uh, comes, every two weeks we have to do the either upward or mm. downward adjustment. Mm. Um, predictably, we're told that uh, the prices should have been increasing on Friday. Right. So I think we're happy. And that, that we're we lucky. seeing it now. Yes. So that, so that we are prepared for it. Exactly. <laughs> but, but the and, and, and I love the strategy by which the oil marketing companies are using. Mm. Some of them are doing it incrementally. Mm. And so by Friday, it will get it to yeah, it will, it will 17, reach. 19. Level so, will reach so level. Monday, yeah. Monday 15, Tuesday 15.5, mm. Wednesday right. 16, That's right. Thursday 16.5. No, no, no. By Friday, they are not setting. Assistant no, finance minister. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but but they say, you see, Roland, when, when you say, well, deregulation. I, I, I think that those in authority sometimes quote it or refer to it when it suits them. Um, what happened to our price stabilization levy, mm. which says that when global prices soar, whatever it is that we are collecting will be put aside, okay, when prices are low, so that when it soars, we will be cushioned. Where is the cushion? Mm. Who chopped the cushion? <laughs> because if prices have gone up and <clears throat> we expected that whatever we collected to cushion the public is there, the money should be brought at this crucial time to cushion the people. So if we cannot find the cushion and nobody's explaining, which is why I'm asking, where's our energy minister? That's why we're sitting on the hard chair. There's yeah. no cushion inside. Where's our energy minister? And it looks as if the energy minister is no longer, aside the last time when he came to say that some people have gone to collect bribes, you oh, know, some he, journalists have come to oh, collect he had, bribes. He, he had been talking. I think that was... Uh, Has uh, he been talking about energy issues? Or has he no, been talking no, about people collecting no, no. bribes? I think the last time, the last time, the last time he publicly issues. spoke on that subject that you're raising was mm -hmm. in uh, the Ashanti region. When the, yeah, it's true. When the president, when the president went there, yeah. yeah so so yeah. I do understand. So, yeah. so he spoke? Yes. And then the prices not are on still energy. going no, no, up. The prices, not, on not, not on energy. On how, then that's what I'm saying. On how you people, you collect money exactly. to make that look bad. That's yes. what I'm saying. That so, And I've always said this. If you will collect money when you're put in that position, right? You assume that everybody else will collect money to make somebody. Ah, so you mean, no, say that again. If, if you're a thief, okay. if you're put in a pos position okay. and you will steal, you will assume that when everybody else is put in that position, they will steal as well. Mm. This is a lesson I learned from my grandfather when I was very, very young. Mm. I'm saying that we have an energy situation. LPG is selling at more than 12 CDs per kilogram. We say we don't want people to go and use charcoal. We want them to use LPG. We are planting trees because we are tired of people cutting trees. We want to um, have our forest all over again. Mm. And we are selling LPG at that exorbitant price. And last Saturday when I went to buy LPG, people came buying now. People can't fill their, their cylinders. So now they buy 20 half, CDs, half. 30 CDs. People actually come, 15. Oh, mm. boss, mommy, 20. Mommy, 25. I was shocked. I hear the thought, thought. I hear the yeah. thought, thought. I hear the thought, thought. I hear the thought, thought. So where is our energy Meaning minister? Meaning, you have thought, thought. thought, thought. Yeah. So instead of, say, you take um, maybe the, the 8 kg and it's 97 Ghana cities. Mm. So you take it and they fill it for you. People cannot fill. So they go and they say, boss, mommy, 30 Ghana. Mommy, 20 Ghana. And then when they're able to gather another, they come and they say, give me. But... We flare gas in this country, don't we? Yeah, we do. We are a net exporter of crude oil, aren't we? We are. So hmm. why is it difficult for us to get basic like gas, LPG, and you know, for our people to use? For people to use in their choppers, in their schools, for their gobe, for their watching, for their kinky. Why? So well, talking I, I, about... I, don't wanna, I just want to chip in a little okay, please bit. Do. Okay, or you go ahead. No, I just want to say that um, within the sector, it's not just easy because the type of gas that we produce is not the same that we use for liquid, liquefied petroleum. What is so, holding our leg from doing anything? Well, I do understand that. Because I, I think we, we, we can make that sausage. Ru um, Rush, Russia, Russia coughs and the whole world catches cold or they sneeze and the whole world catches cold. They are <laughs> controlling your LPG. Yes, so, but the reality is that the most affected categories of countries or people who 
um, are reeling from the Russian-Ukraine conflict, while it is elsewhere in the world, mm. are mostly the top European countries. Right. Because it's where we have the pipelines mm -hmm. from Russia mm -hmm. going through to right. feed to those countries. So Germany, the topmost mm. um, economy in Europe, um, and, and, and subsequently all, all the allied mm. countries around the Belgium, France. Uh, and, and, they, and, and, and it's because and they, they don't have the option of charcoal. Yes, yes. So, so, so they <laughs> are in the first line of, of action. That is why when the argument is always made, made that the Russian-Ukraine well, war affecting as us. extremely... You look at what the market is, and, and Cookie will bear testimony, the things that are expensive in our country, mm -hmm. are the basic things we apparently are supposed to have produced here. Yeah. So that's exactly, thank you for, for raising the point. I, honestly, that was where... So you keep asking. Yes, that's where I was coming Pla to. Planting. When when yeah. Johnny mentioned that um, the president Abolo. said we're a net exporter, which one was it again? Of, of crude. Okay, and then again he mentioned that we're a net exporter <coughs> of cocoa. And fallouts from the agri-business forum that we had yesterday... Not just cocoa, let me add tomato. Onion. Okay. He said it in Parliament, okay. State of the Nation address, right. so, 20, 20, 2020 cocoa, or 2019. I just want to take the cocoa bit because it's part of the fallout from the agribusiness forum mm. that we had yesterday at the Executive right, Theatre. Right. And it was heartbreaking to hear John Dumelo, who is now a renowned farmer, mm. saying that the cocoa farmers who export these products outside the country have never even seen a chocolate bar mm. or tasted it mm. before. Yeah. So when it's February and we are celebrating Love Month and Chocolate Month and all that, who remembers the cocoa farmer? Who remembers to take a basket or a hamper mm. of cocoa to go back into the indigenous places that mm. these products are grown and say, oh, this is the end product mm -hmm. of what you cultivate. Mm. Now, we've started in this country and Galamse has taken over cocoa farms. I chanced on a video last week where... The water from the river bodies, because of Galamse, mm. had taken over a whole cocoa farm. Yeah. And the water was up to here, mm. to the chest mm. of the cocoa farmer. Yeah. The gentleman who said he was MPP. He exactly, was MPP, yes. and this was not And he didn't like Galamse. So that was a good thing about that video. Yeah. He sitting... just wanted to do his cocoa. See, Cookie, you know what John Dumelo said yesterday? TV3 had done a story about it and actually spoken to some farmers who had never seen cocoa How? before. Now, the question is, our president told us that through the school feeding program, we were going to have this morning, if your child goes to school, hot chocolate, a mug of hot cocoa. cocoa drink, okay, and a bar of chocolate, if you will, for your child, one boiled egg for your child. So. The children in the primary school will see President Kufadu as their grandfather, who has promised them something. And for six years, the grandfather has not delivered, and the grandfather is not bothered. I think the oh, grandfather oh, is also doing well. Oh, um, I'm not relax. Well, free SHS. Relax, honey. You I told start, you on Monday. You start. That see, free SHS is not working. See, I Roland, already told you. Roland. Most of the schools that are doing well are being funded by their old students' bodies. Thank you, Roland. So you guys are we pushing are, me this morning. No, relax, relax, relax. See, I thought we were all friends. I thought we that, are. yeah, we are friends. See, I'm just you start. You. I, I, okay. I see the government. Let me be in my place. I yeah. see the government's tone more <laughs> interested in free SHS, free SHS. I have nothing against free SHS. I have a problem with the implementation. I'm saying that we must begin from the basics, because if the primary school is weak, the JHS is weak. By the time they get to secondary school, they are dudui. And by the time they get to university, and I have university, we have university for lecturers we, we speak to. All the time. They say by the time they we leave SS, yeah. SHS3 yeah. and they yeah. come to yeah. level 100, yeah. they have to start all over again. Yeah. Yeah. And you, we know the correlation between education and nutrition. Yeah. So when you promise the children that you're going to give them a mug of cocoa drink every day, a boiled egg, which now sells at three CDs, and you have not been able to give them, and nobody has found it worthy to explain to the children that we promised you this, we have not been able to give. 
grandfather to grandchild, grandfather to granddaughter relationship, grandfather to grandson relationship. How do you take it? Kosiani Meko, no extra onion a fifty pesos. Why? Kosiani Meko is three cities. Extra onion. So we used to we used to tell Kosiani Meko share. Then we can eat like six. Then you say all oh, the fabric yes. and pay three cities. Keba, keba. Yeah. Just give me, give me. <laughs> keep, <laughs> keep <laughs> dropping. Oh, see, see why I say all the things I say. Now you cannot, right. you cannot try that too. Right. Oh, shadi ana ano a year ma ano a bo. Yeah. Oh, the mekona she. Oh, 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 because oh, shia problem. But so but, your I, I, your assignment yesterday. Yes. The Jane farmers, you know, the Jane uh, importers that mm. you were talking mm. about, or you were talking mm. to. Did they give you any iota of reason as to why we cannot grow some of these things in this country? Onion and tomatoes. I, I, I think they themselves they keep wondering and are even dumbfounded. And and, and and we know that and we know that for all things agriculture, the Ministry of Agriculture is supposed to be the lead, right? Right. If you tie in with what Senor Hosi said at that agribusiness forum mm -hmm. organized by three business on Wednesday, then the whole conversation comes into a certain perspective. So policy direction from the Ministry of Agriculture. Mm -hmm. Senor Hosi is arguing it doesn't correlate to what is needed by the market. <sighs> and then you have the related issue about you do the production and you do the input etc if we say that citizens tastes have changed mm. are yeah. we giving or planting the produce that they want that as their taste their, their, their so taste. even the importers themselves mm. are wondering why we can't grow basic tomatoes that we have to go to a sahelian yeah. country yeah. like niger yeah. Johnny, Burkina yeah. Faso, the tomatoes, onion. The tomatoes I bought on my way <laughs> yeah. from, from Kofrodia yeah, Sektek yeah. was from Cameroon. Yeah. Was from Cameroon. That's what I they told me. The president. So a handful, Are you serious? Yes, was from Cameroon. I, I, so a handful, I, I, I heard that at Agbubulushi, but I thought... It's that. true. So a handful of that tomato was 50 Ghana cities. And I'm saying, maybe San, Mr. Mame, so what's wrong with the tomatoes here? Eh, 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 dang. What's your media minimo? A bin, ni ho. It's a baby, a bin, a bin, a bin, a bin, Like... See, uh, you see, I said that the president in parliament <laughs> captured in the Hansard, I think in 2021, State of the Nation Address, he said Ghana is now a net exporter of food, like tomatoes, onion, yada, 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 thanks to planting for food and, and jobs. jobs. Whoever lied to the president needs to apologize to him, and the president in turn needs to apologize to us. Yada, yada, yada. Because, yeah, I'm using Ken Ophiria as yada, yada, yada. But you see the point is, the, the, com the, com the conversation now is this, that we were told that we're a net exporter of these things. And then you remember the tomato importers who said they have been attacked by armed robbers. And the same president who said, oh, we don't import these things. Ask IGP or Pombo to provide security for them to be able to import some more. The irony of the situation. I remember. Yeah. So then you ask yourself, getting robbed. what is happening on the ground? First, as you stated, there's no policy. There's no incentive. There is policy, the, but it's relax, the coherence relax, of the policy. Relax. You say you give farmers subsidized fertilizer 15%. Is it there on the market? No. So they have to buy. So if I am interested in commercial farming and the state does not have farms, how are you supporting me, the commercial farm, like Minta and the, and the rest, to be able to grow some more? Then I hear the argument about, oh, we have to change our taste, we have to change our taste. Where does it start from? The president stood in front of us journalists at the presidency on the 19th of December, 2019, and said that going forward, all refreshments funded with public money must be local rice. Since that, that time, what kind of rice has the president been eating? What kind of rice has been used for refreshments? Look how rice. In fact, at the last, at the last, uh, what galamse or whatever deba that we had, what rice, what quality of rice did we eat? Local rice. So the local rice people, and you know if we are sourcing from them, what rice, what what rice do we feed our school children? Because as for the school children in free SHS, which we want to make a lot of noise about the school feeding program, which we spend ninety seven pesos to feed every child, we buy the rice consistently. Do we source rice from the local people to introduce the next generation to the taste of rice we want them to acquire? 
so that when we plant, John Dumelo plants, Avenash plants, this plants, we will be able to get the children to adopt the taste. So when we just talk about, oh, we need to change our taste, and we don't have a deliberate plan to change our taste, we should go and sleep. Why is our Greek minister? Congratulations to Prisek for winning the National Science and Maths Quiz. Mm. Uh, Premper College also, um, they did well. Addis Adel College came in third place. Yeah. Um, this morning, I, 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 I can tell the euphoria in the school. Yeah. All the odadies, congratulations, yeah. congratulations to you. I, yeah. Somebody said that, um, yeah. and this is a joke, that mm. the, the riddle should be done in three. Twa base, so Premper, uh, Twa base. base so, ah, for Premper. Uh, yeah, so but then when it comes to <laughs> Madina Harvard, so only Madina Harvard for mm. Presec, yeah, mm. aka Madina yeah. Harvard for so Prempe to a base, so. uh, yeah. then English for Adesadel, and then Madina. Like, what is fish farming? Oliver, oh. Oliver Lawson, <laughs> Oliver Lawson went to Oliver, Prempe. yeah, Prempe to a base. Honorable, the question again to a base, so. no, so what is the fish farming? Honorable, the question again, <laughs> fish farming. Okay. Well, oh, uh, good morning, morning to you, former um, member of parliament for Myung. Yeah, Mohammed Abdul Aziz. Allah. It's his birthday. Yeah. What's his birthday yesterday? Oh, okay. Yeah. Have a great time. Is there a party? Is we're taking a break. We'll be right back. Is he sending us Momo? Yeah, please send. <laughs>